welcome back everyone to another beer review. Uh, got my mate in here today, Beaker. Uh, and funny enough, the beer that I'm doing is one that he's just had. And judging by the colour of his hair, you'll see what I mean. So next up is from Tiny Rebel. It's a beer actually my uh, daughter got me for my birthday. She bought a, a five beers and a glass for me. And this is from Tiny Rebel, like I say. And it's kind of their Shakedown Mango Vermont IPA. And as you can tell by his hair, he's just out of can. And you can tell, because, you know, you know when you've been mangoed, as, as they used to say. Well, not quite mangoed, but you know, you get where I'm coming from. Why am I picking that up? I've no idea. Losing me trailer for going a bit nuts. So, uh, yeah, nice kind of can design that the, you'd normally get with the old Tiny Rebel. Uh, this is a 330ml can, 4.5%. I'm going to guess this was about £2.50. Uh, so let's get it out of the can, into a glass, see what we get. And see if my hair goes as orange as old beakers. I'm sure there'll be a few sarcastic comments from certain people. You know what I mean, Scott? Horrible little bastard. So... I have read the can quickly. It's not something I tend to do, but uh, I, I, I have had, had a nose. So uh, in the glass, it's certainly as it says it's going to look. Uh, what does it say? A Tuscan sunset, which is pretty much about right. It's orange, basically. Uh, absolutely raging carbonation in there. We've got a two finger pure white big bubble spacious head which is kind of going a little bit I'll give it a little bit more in there so uh, we'll give it a bit of a swirl that hair is pretty similar you can tell he's out of can can you so let's give it the old uh, swirl and get my nose in there oh mango big time hoppy same mango, but I'm getting a lot of grapefruit, pineapple. It smells really nice, it really does. And you are getting the mango as well. It's uh, this smells really nice. Look at that, get the nose in there again. I'm terrible for that. I need to cut my nose down. So let's dive in anyway, guys. Cheers. Mm. Yeah. On the nose it says, as I said on the can, Tuscan Sunset is nice and orange, real bright, vibrant. On the nose it says all the mangoes. Personally, I picked up pineapple, grapefruit. Did get mango as well. It's very sort of like tropical, but mango's definitely a big, big influence in it. Taste-wise, it's it's very nice, very drinkable. big on the mango but you are getting like the pineapple grapefruit sort of thing lurking in the background it's uh it's lovely to be fair let's get the rest in and there we go put the can down there so yeah it's it's orange it's hazy you can't see through that at all you couldn't see through it before as i say mango pineapple grapefruit Hoppy. Nice body on the beer. Gentle carbonation. Just just little bubbles in your mouth. Nothing that I don't think is going to build you up so you do a big burp. Although, you know me, want to get to the end of a drink or even, well, any part of a drink, I, I tend to have a big burp. So... The first mouthful I had, I was it was it was quite bitter. The initial sort of mouthful, and I was expecting it to get more and more bitter. But it's actually not that bad. It's it's your first sort of mouthful, or at the start of your mouthful, tends to be the bitterest part. It's very much that sort of. For me, it's it's almost like a citrusy bitterness that you get. 
uh, it's what I say it was four point half, four point half, four and a half percent, I believe. Yep, four and a half percent. Probably drinking somewhere near. It's not going to be far off. You don't sort of taste the alcohol, but the bitterness for me, as I've said many a time. But there is a sweetness in there as well. Extremely refreshing. Hot summer's day. That would be extremely tasty. Uh, yeah, that's really nice. That's really nice. I do like that. It's not necessarily one that I would have. Because there is, there is, it is quite sweet. Sticky on the mouth. So I could have a few, but I don't think I could have a, a big, big session on it. Uh, but it's really, really tasty. So, oh, excuse me. There we go. So if you if you're thinking of getting that, that's nice. Uh, I've had much more powerful mango IPAs that have been a little bit too mango, uh, or whether that's just been it's 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 been uh, I can let say flavourings maybe for the mango, but but th this is for me this is really nice. It's, this really suits me this one. Uh, so yeah, if you're thinking of getting it and you like a bit of a mango IPA, it's got all the hops and all the other taste to it. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. I think it's rather tasty, as I've said. Would I buy it again? Yes, I would get that again. If I saw that in a supermarket, I wouldn't necessarily go online, go out of my way to buy it, but if I saw it in a supermarket, I'd certainly pick it up. And that's about it. So uh, at the moment, my hair hasn't been mangoed like is. Uh, so, but we'll see in the morning, see what I wake up look, looking like. And uh, that's it really. Thanks for watching everyone. Ladies, gents, and all that lot, uh, much appreciated, all your views and that. Uh, please, 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 anyone that you know uh, that's into beer reviews, uh, get them to subscribe to my channel. I'm really aiming for the big 200 now. I'll be chuffed for each 200 subscribers. Uh, so if you can help me do that, be much appreciated. And I will see you again on another beer review very soon. So it's good night from me, and it's good night from him. Cheers.